what's up y'all it's your boy tan um i know it's been a while it's always been a while with me honestly but um i just got done moving to a bigger place i just got done graduating with my bachelor's in psychology so i've had a lot of shit going on but i feel free i'm finally doing my thing so we're just gonna start shooting and going crazy with the makeup hopefully um today's not gonna be anything special i'm just going to do a makeup look that's gonna look magical maybe i don't know i want to feel like a fucking fairy so that's what we're gonna do <laughs> um so yeah thank you guys for watching and being here i hope you guys are doing well let's get into it so i just moisturized um i used the burt's bees hydrating gel cream with royal jelly um it's not pleasant to touch or feel but it gets the job done uh now we're gonna go with our primer this is the no pro no prob no pore bloom primer by touch and soul looks like this it's got a little pumpy pump um i think we're gonna do two that's what it looks like might need a little bit more and just rub it in foundation i'm going to be using is not actually a foundation it's a bb cream but it's super thick so i just use it as a foundation it is perlice aegis globe serum bb cream looks like this it's pretty big i've had it for a while and we're just going to use a blue blue i don't know what the fuck's going on with my speaking today a beauty blender and just get that bitch on the skin you know <laughs> say the shade i'm just using fair you know and white as shit you know be like that for concealer i'm using the air hug concealer by item it doesn't have a fucking shade name on it but i promise you it's the lightest shade i got this in like a ipsy bag or some shit i don't know i don't buy these tiny travel size things i just use them up so i don't waste and shit and i'm breaking out here for whatever fucking reason probably because i'm stressed out all the time and so we're just gonna cover that and then blend that shit in with the beauty blender. to set with my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder and I'm using a giant fluffy brush this is the thing one brush by makeup revolution I heart revolution whatever the fuck their name now um, and we're just gonna put this everywhere you know set that bitch <laughs> powdering i'm gonna go do my eyebrows off camera because it's boring and you probably don't give a fuck so i'll be back when i finish that shit okay the eyebrows are flea now we're going to contour i suppose i'm using take home of the bronze anti-orange bronzer bride the bomb it looks like this i'm trying to use the fuck out of it to be honest and the brush i'm using is by elena Bedro, and it doesn't have a number on it but it's a huge angled fluffy brush and we're just gonna go over the cheekbones, the forehead, and the chin with the shit. Now we're 
we're going to top it off with my Charlotte Tilbury Filmstar Bronze and Glow Palette, just the contour color. And I'm using a Tarte Dual Ended Brush, the big fluffy side, to do go over everything that we just did with the Balm Bronzer. And then we're gonna we're gonna do the nose with the smaller brush. For blush, I'm using my ColourPop X Animal Crossing Flower Power Blush. It looks like this. It's a light pink. The brush I'm using is the other brush that comes with the Dr. Seuss I Heart Revolution um, collection. And we're just going to go all over the cheeks and the nose with it. Maybe bring it on the temples a tiny bit. <laughs> Anastasia Beverly Hills Moonchild palette. Um, I think we're going to use Purple Horseshoe, the one right up top. The brush I'm using doesn't have any names or anything on it, but it's just a flat. I think this is probably a concealer brush. I just like how compact it is, so I use it for highlighter as well. And we're just gonna go on all the high points. <laughs> eyes um the eyes are going to be kind of minimalistic which is weird for me because i always just go crazy on the eye makeup um but right now we're just going to do a transition shade um i'm using the Too faced chocolate bar palette and i think i'm just going to go in with milk chocolate it's a good solid transition shade and we're just gonna put that in the crease really quick and give some depth the brush i'm using is doesn't have a name on it, but it is a fluffy, fluffy brush and it's a natural hair as well. Next, I'm using the Naked Urban Decay Cyber Palette. The brush is falling out. It looks so dope. I love this palette. And then the color we're using is, I think, Static right here. So the brush is a Luxie 245 small shader. It's a flat brush. And we're going to pick up that shade Static. And we're just going to lightly put it in the middle of the lid. And give just like a glossy effect. <laughs> And then I'm going to go into that Moonchild palette again, go in with Purple Horseshoe, the purple one, and I'm going to essentially like highlight but also add some color to the ends of my eyes. I want it to pop with purple. So I'm adding it to the end right here. I might add a different shade as well just to give that more purpley effect, but this will make it shiny to match with the um, Urban Decay shade we just put down. I 
want some more purple, so I'm going to go find another purple shade to add on top of that. Okay, I think I found the perfect purple shade. Going to my ColourPop, she's a rainbow palette. I'm going on to Hold Me Down. I think that's this one right here in the middle. Um, and we're going to lightly go over what we just did with the Moonchild palette. <music> silver we're going to go back into the cyber palette and go over the middle <music> That same cyberpunk palette, we're going to go on the lower lash line and just make it super sparkly and silver. So now I really want to get sparkly and glittery, so I'm using this little um, jewel kit I got off of Amazon. I was like two dollars probably and then some lash glue and my tweezers and we're just going to strategically put probably like 20 fucking gems on our eyeballs so bear with me <laughs> I finished the other side I did my lashes and eyeliner off camera I didn't do top eyeliner just uh my waterline I suppose um I love this this looks so cute now I'm just going to highlight with that same purple horseshoe highlighter we've been using on the inner corners of my eyes I was there when I needed someone who wasn't getting over you when I moved to the side when I moved on your mind Now I'm going to line the lips. I'm using the Beauty Vault lip liner in shade Cozy Kira. It's like a brown. 
And then I'm just gonna, like I said, line the lips. Make sure they're moisturized. You don't want crusty lips, butthole lips. You know it's a season. Then I'm going to use a ColourPop lipstick. It's called Appy. It's a light brown, and we're gonna fill in the lips. Need your feedback. I know it makes sense. Don't know I play pretend. I guess I we're going to apply the Morphe X Lucky Charms lip gloss in shade Marshmallow Charm. And this is just going to give that ethereal, glossy, wet look. Why am I still here and waiting for us to have? Because you never want Everything I love about you I probably imagine Because we never had it Funny it's been so long And so there's nothing that's changed We're just going to set with our setting spray This is by Maven Beauty It's a rose water setting spray And we're just going to go all over the face and it was never your fault Wish there was something to play Alright y'all, this is the final look I think it's super cute Less fairy, more ethereal goddess-esque I don't know, I love this though It's super cute um, I hope you guys enjoyed I hope you guys learned something Or you found a new technique you wanted to use Or you guys just like to watch me put fucking jewels all over my face um, hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thank you guys for watching. Bye, y'all.